Let me start by saying that finding it at the MSRP is like hunting for a needle in a haystack, reminiscent of the XG Mobiles and some other Aces products. It's perpetually out of stock, and when you do stumble upon it, the price tag is astronomical. If like me you envision connecting it to a monitor occasionally via a third-party dock, think again. Its performance falls embarrassingly short for gaming on a proper display. The 16GB RAM allocation is laughable. Windows alone gobbles up around 6 gigs, with the APU devouring another 3 to 5. What's left for your use barely scratches 4 to 5 gigs, resulting in dismal performance. Even attempting to upgrade the RAM is a risky endeavor, with the potential to permanently damage your device for a marginal 15% performance boost. Docking this machine reduces it to a glorified work laptop. Asus' insistence on the XG Mobile and its proprietary connection means that the USB-C functionality is lackluster at best. Instead of Thunderbolt compatibility, Asus nudges consumers towards their overpriced mobile eGPUs, which are consistently either out of stock or grossly marked up. To add insult to injury, even the MSRP of these peripherals is exorbitant. Upon acquisition, immediate modification is essential. Swap out the 2230 NVMe for a 2280 NVMe, as the former is ridiculously overpriced for similar storage sizes. Gaming on SD cards is a pipe dream. They're light years away from handling newer, bulkier game titles. Furthermore, the Ally treats SD cards like a hot breakfast. For the sake of all that's holy, consider licensing third parties to utilize the XG mobile connectors. Even repurposing them as USB hubs would be a more logical choice than restricting them to an elusive product that's perpetually out of stock.